Well, the man who once ran one of the country's most popular restaurants says the VA is dragging its feet to help him. The veteran and former owner and executive chef of Amy Ruth's New York City. If you've ever been there, it's delicious. Well, he now lives in Metro Atlanta and he's reaching out to CBS 46 for help. Our Bo Beth Yates has more on the story. Yes, we all know you need two legs to walk. Well, this veteran has been waiting years to get the other foot to complete that process. I feel deflated. I feel as though the Veterans Administration has deflated my bubble. Celebrity chef Carl Redding has fed everyone from Michael Jackson to John Lewis. But back in 2017, his life changed when his first leg was amputated and he was forced out of the business. The Veterans Administration told me that after I had my legs amputated, they would continue to care for me. They would provide me with prosthetic legs so that I can resume normal uh, way of life. After about two years of back and forth, the double amputee got one of his legs, but then the process came to a screeching halt. Lo and behold, the pandemic hit and everything stopped. Physical therapy stopped for the right leg, occupational therapy stopped for the right leg, and the left leg stopped altogether. Do you walk with one leg? Can a normal human being walk with one leg? Redding says he was originally told he would get his legs in about three months, but that was back in 2017. With everything stalled, he reached out to CBS 46 and we contacted the VA. They sent us an email saying they're looking into the matter, but did not provide any additional information as to what caused the delays in time for this broadcast. Back in July, the VA's Office of Inspector General published a scathing report showing many Atlanta VA patients were not being provided the care they needed within the 30 days required by law. The report recommended an October deadline to correct the problem, and the VA told us at that time they were working on it. As for Reddy, he says he'll continue to wait. They promised me my legs, and I don't have the legs yet. I just want my leg. Now Reddy says he already knows what he'll do when he gets his second leg. That is climbing the entire Empire State Building for a fundraiser. Fighting for our vets, Bobeth Yates, CBS 46 News. Bobeth, thank you.